With our latest release, the DevExpress ASP.NET Date Editor Control now allows you to define a date range with a start and end date. In this video, you'll learn how to add date range functionality using the DevExpress ASPX Date Edit Controls. I'll start with the basic web application that I created using the DevExpress ASP.NET Project Wizard. To provide date range functionality, I'll need two ASPX Date Edit Controls, one editor to specify the start date, and another to specify the end date. Then we'll link the two editors so that they provide a UI for your end users to specify the range. To link the editors, I set the start date edit ID property of the end date editor to the ID value of the start date editor. Let's take a look at the date range settings provided by the ASPX date edit control. Note that the setting should be specified for the end date editor. This property allows me to specify the number of calendar columns. The min day count and max day count properties allow specifying the minimum and maximum number of days in a range. I set the minimum value to 5 and the maximum to 10 days. Also, I can specify the text to be displayed when a number of selected days exceed the specified limits. I'll add a label to display the number of days in the selected range. To do this, I'll override the date changed event handler. Here, I set the label text to the value returned by the client get range day count method. And let's run the application to see the result. I specify the start date, and the end date is automatically set to a date increased by 5 days. That is the specified minimum range. If I select less than 5 or more than 10 days, an error message is displayed. The label displays the number of full days in the selected range. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.